our yard isn't that big and we my parents always wanted uh, solar panels. So one day I was just walking through the woods on a winter hiking trip and I noticed that the tree branches, how they collect sunlight, they like go up into the air. And I thought like maybe if we put solar panels on the ends of the branches, it would collect a lot of sunlight. My project is about how I built a solar panel tree, de uh, tree design and based on the Fibonacci sequence. And it collected more sunlight than a common flat panel array. And it doesn't collect dirt, rain, and snow as much as the flat panels. And I think it looks a lot nicer. <laughs> My project generated a lot of reactions from people around the world. Many people were excited about the idea. Others had great suggestions to make my research better. The internet allows people to share ideas, but people will, people will be people and the media will be the media. And the lesson I learned is that sometimes the internet is not a substitute for scientific peer review. Well, well some of the comments were encouraging me and some of them were just, um, they're giving me ideas to expand my research. But some, I felt like they didn't understand my project because I was trying to measure how see if the tree design could collect more sun sunlight, not more open current voltage. I'm using suggestions from different sources to improve the design. My current project is a large-scale Fibonacci array, which has been adopted by a family of chipmunks as a hangout. <laughs> but most importantly, I'm sharing my ideas on solar panels with others to build a better tomorrow.